Good evening. It's the Sunday edition of uh, ITV Weekend News Magazine. It's been a rainy day against expectations of some people that the rainy season will soon be over. Now let's flip through the cover page of the Weekend News Magazine. There is a major restructuring of the operations of the Nadra Police Force as Inspector General of Police Mohammed Adamu has banned personnel of the Federal anti robbery Squad and others from routine patrols. It was a traumatic experience for some worshippers, motorists and passengers in parts of Benin City as they were stranded for hours due to heavy flooding of the Usilu Ugbawa Lagos Road caused by downpour. Also on the cover page, as electioneering campaigns intensify ahead of understood governorship election, youths of APC and PDP clash in a career. Welcome on board. My name is Blessing A.H.A. We're here to grab running with a fast story. The Inspector General of Police, Mohammed Adamu, has banned personnel of the Federal Special anti robber Squad from routine patrols. He also banned all the tactical squads of the force, including the Special Tactical Squad, Intelligence Response Team, Anti-Cultism Squad, and other squads operating at the federal, zona, and command levels from carrying out routine patrols. Mohammed Adamu said other conventional low-risk duties, including stop and search, checkpoints, mounting of roadblocks, traffic checks, are also banned with immediate effect and directed personnel to always appear in their police uniforms or approved tactical gear. The development came as after condemnations greeted the alleged shooting of a young man in front of a hotel in Ugeli area of Delta State by some SARS officers. A special Thanksgiving service has been held for the successful completion of the burial ceremony of late Mrs. Janet Imaswain who died at the age of 88. Igoje Kora reports that St. Matthew Anglican Church, Diocese of Benin, Benin City, was packed full with eminent personalities from across the country and beyond, including the A. Samar of Benin, His Excellency Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Usawau Ibenadion. Members of Imaswe family, led by the other son of late Mrs. Janet Imaswe, Bishop of Benin Diocese Anglican Communion, Right Reverend Peter Imaswe, joined by the Isama of Benin, His Excellency Chief Dr. Gabriel Sarek Benedio, former and serving legislators, government functionaries, industrialists, and senior advocates of Nigeria and clerics, danced to the altar in thanksgiving to appreciate God for the life and times of their mother, grandmother, and great grandmother. Said, Let Mrs. Janet alive for God and was exemplary while on earth. She gave her life to the Lord in service of the Lord. That is the joy, most joyful aspect of it. That she did not waste her life. She did not get lost into this world. She's returning back to her maker. The son of the deceased and bishop of Benin Diocese, Anglican Communion, Right Reverend Peter Imaswe, also used the opportunity to appreciate the Esama of Benin, His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Sarek Benidio, for standing by him and the entire family. The Esama of Benin, His Excellency, Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Sarek Benedio, congratulated the children of the deceased, successfully burying their mother. I pray that the Archbishop, what they are done for the family, may he live long. May he live longer than the parents. Some guests and dignitaries at the ceremony advised the family to continue to remain united even after the death of their mother. For them to work together, stay in unity, the way their mother had left them, we pray that God is going to keep them together, united in the faith of the Almighty God. 
Mama, as the children were growing up, they were served, they served Lord. Some of the children of the disease, a family members comment. She was a great leader and she gave all she had to support my educational background. My mother is a caring woman and is a faithful woman. It's a lovely woman. My mother-in-law was a disciplinarian. She's a no-nonsense woman. If anybody does anything that is not right, Mama give it to them and immediately correct them. She took care of me, took care of my father, took care of my father's entire family. With 14 children, if my father is ill, it is Mrs. Janet Nisaran that will leave the 14 children behind and go to the hospital and be sleeping with my father. She brought me up. She contributed to making me what I am today. Late Mrs. Janet Imaswe died at the age of 88. I, Boji Horia, reporting. With the completion of the burial ceremony of late Mrs. Janet Imaswe, I'm sure she's now resting in peace. Moving on, Speaker of the House of Assembly, Mr. Francis Okie says the will of the people is stronger than that of a few individuals in the state who are determined to mortgage its future. Mr. Okie stated this in an event to commemorate Nigeria's 60th independence anniversary in Government House, Benin City. Kingsley Uchegu has details. <laughs> Mr. Kie urged Nigerians to renew their determination to make the country greater. The speaker who noted that through resilience, total support and massive votes in the House of Assembly election and recent governorship election, the people through the instrumentality of their PVCs were able to overcome. The God that spoke inspirationally and clearly on the 19th, we continue to speak even through the judges of the courts. So I am convinced and I'm further liberated. Mr. Kie, who sued for more collaborative efforts to move the state forward, also reiterated that 14 out of the 24 constituencies in the state House of Assembly are not represented in the House. The issues that were surrounding the political situation of Edo State, like the House of Assembly, where you have only 10 out of the expected 24, have been finally laid to rest. Not less than 10 out of those constituencies spoke loud and clear that their erstwhile representative have been voted out. Nigeria's independence anniversary with the theme together was attended by the state governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, his deputy, Comrade Philip Shaibu, members of the State House of Assembly, Chief Judge of Edo State, politicians and religious leaders. Kingsley Uchebu reporting. The APC governorship candidate in the September 19, 2020 governorship election, Pastor Saigi Zayamu, says he is not keen at challenging the outcome of the governorship election result at the election petition tribunal since there are pre-election matters already in court. Pastor Zayamu stated this during a church thanksgiving to thank God for the successful governorship election. Best Iberi has details. Parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in GRA Benin City was in Thanksgiving mood as family members, friends, and members of the church joined the APC governorship candidate in the September 19 governorship election in Edo State, Pastor Saige Izeyamu, to offer thanks to God for a successful conduct of the election. In a message, the officiating minister, who is also the celebrant, Pastor Saige Izeyamu, said Christians should see the service of God as the number one thing in their lives, no matter the situation they find themselves. In everything, the thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for them. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The more you rejoice, the more you please God. On his part, the redeemed pastor in charge of Region 13, Pastor Dele Balogun, who quoted from the book of Psalms, said in everything, Christians should not hesitate to praise God as doing so will open doors of opportunity. In whatever you are doing, ensure you have a grateful heart. God may allow you to lose a battle 
in order to win a war. In an interview, Pastor Saigi Ezeyamu, while thanking guests for identifying with him, said he is not keen at challenging the outcome of the Edo State Governorship election at the Election Petitions Tribunal. While his wife, Professor Idia Ezeyamu, said they have numerous reasons to appreciate God. Elections have been done. There's no doubt about it. And uh, whatever you're feeling about the outcome, uh, the first and the right thing to do is to give God thanks. PDP, they have uh, 12 matters against us. Even after the election, they are still pursuing the matters in Abuja and in Benin. So they have 12 against us, and we have two against them. Some people say, we're going to court. What they don't know is that we're in court. You know? If you're asking whether we'll go to the tribunal, I really don't know. I'm not keen on going to the tribunal. We believe in God. We believe in his word. We are obedient to his word. And in being obedient, we are here to thank him. Some guests appreciated Pastor Saige Izeyamu for thanking God despite the outcome of the governorship election. The Bible says in everything we should give thanks. And his servant has just done the same. I have no time to regret anything. We are always forward looking. Usage remains the man of the people. You can see how a man behaves. Upon all the things that happen, he still comes to give thanks to God. That is to know a man who have, who have a good intention for the people. We are thanking God for the past, for the present, and what is going to happen too. We are thanking God for keeping us alive for a very successful election. Best in Bire reporting. You're watching the Sunday edition of the ITV Weekend Magazine. We'll take a pause for some commercials. Please note that you can watch the you can watch ITV and Roku TV in UK, America, Africa, and other parts of Europe, and also on Smart TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Android TV. You can view us nationwide on Star Times Channel 130 and Go TV Channel 107. Follow us also on our Twitter handle at ITV Radio NG. On YouTube at www.youtube.com forward slash ITV Radio NG. Visit our website for live streaming at www.itvradio.com forward slash live. On Facebook at facebook.com forward slash ITV Radio NG. Download the ITV app from your mobile app store. Please stay tuned. Congratulations! The House of Ibnadio heartily rejoices with Lady Doris Obo on the occasion of the successful grand opening of her ultra-modern world-class event center built to the standard that I have seen in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. This milestone achievement is indicative of your managerial precision, dogged business acumen, and a robustly creative mindset that has set you apart in the business world. Indeed, you have carved a niche for yourself as a goal-getter pace setter with an unwavering passion and commitment towards making a difference in the society you have displayed over the years an uncanny dexterity in the creation of employment for our teeming population the fact that you're a woman of excellence whose accomplishments are worthy of emulation i recommend other young and aspiring business women to emulate you the house of ibnadion is truly proud of you because you have never disappointed us in all your endeavors it's our prayer that the good Lord strengthens you with good health, wisdom, and long life to do more for humanity. Congratulations, signed His Excellency Sir Chief Dr. Gabriel Usawa Ibnadio CFR, the Isamal Benin, on behalf of the House of Ibnadio. Pastor Charles Osazua is my name. Are you an apostle, a prophet, a pastor? Wherever you are on the face of the earth, within and outside the city, as you come in contact with this advert, I am personally inviting you, Global Network of Impact Leaders. It's a pastors and workers conference. I want you to join me on Monday, 5th of October, 8 a.m. at the City of David, kilometer 10, Sapler Road, Ube. You cannot afford to miss it. We are looking at church expansion, church explosion, post-COVID formula for church explosion. You cannot afford to miss it. Wherever you are, it's going to be an awesome time in God's presence. There's question and answer section, an interactive section. Oh my God, if you have never experienced it before, one meeting that will put your ministry on another level. God bless you.
glorious call of a dynamic woman of faith. The death has occurred of a community leader, a philanthropist, and a princess from the royal family of Ewohimi and Odige in Esam Southeast local government area of Edo State. Princess Mrs. Helena Ebimalo Odige Ni Omenime Ifebo at the age of 91. A statement by Prince Emmanuel Odige indicates that the burial ceremony of their mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, auntie, sister, cousin, and a very dear friend, Princess Mrs. Helena Ebimalo Odige, passed on 23 September 2020 will be announced later. Performance, service, dedication, and loyalty are rewarded by God Himself and people across the board. These are what Edo people saw and still see that drummed up Your Excellency's re election with your loyal deputy on the historic September 19 polls are just free, fair, and credible nationwide. They are the formidable forces against Your Excellency before the election. Divine Providence returned you and also by reason of your outstanding integrity and matched first time performance and commitment to the set agenda for the betterment of Edo people and states. Couple with public private sector driven macroeconomic policies of your administration. I, Philip Edigi, MDCEO of your Hallmark and family, heartily congratulate Your Excellencies Godwin Noheha Seobaseki and Deputy Comrade Philip Shaibo on your deserving re election. We pray that the good Lord that returned you leads you for greater development of feet and well being of Edu people and the states. Best wishes and prayers from Philip Edigi, MDCEO of your Hallmark and family. Twenty years in mind, Dickin Water, Jemeje, and Nukbe, JP. Twenty years gone, it seems like yesterday. A loss is the kingdom of God's gain. Papa, you were a great husband, father, grandfather, great grandfather, uncle, spiritual leader, and mentor to family and friends. You lived your life fully devoted to God and humanity. Your legacy of love and sacrifice has encouraged us all these years and kept us in unity. We love and miss you dearly. Continue to rest in perfect peace until we meet on that glorious resurrection morning to part no more. Fondly remembered by wife, Mrs. Rebecca O. Anukbe, children, Mrs. Alero Anukbe Jarikri, Mrs. Anire Anukbe Adi for Lalu and Mrs. Oti Anukbe of Rawa, Mr. Eferishe Anukbe for grand and great grandchildren, signed Mrs. Alero Anukbe Jarikre for the family. A yo kweke su gyora gbo no ga emiyo ka mi gbo ka wo sanye de bo ri ino ga gbo mo ba reju era no gan pe 2020 aye na o kweke su gyo wo pagari on e menu nu ri se maya gi agben se no yin kebe e poto nu wo ese a ye da gbe ma e na no aye o pe ke su gyo nu ri pa ma do ye wo ere be ni maye wo ere be ga ya ata we e da gben se ore no yo saye ri be no gwa ko ri yen no ma se so pa e da gben se no yin ko ra gbon ke ga ino ga me alawo da we da gben ma ni lega we Era ra akine maya no ze mi bo no ga kie uro ne ma ni re yo gwe pe gbo nu ga aye ko mo pa ra aki okuta na te mi ami anodo kie ama mi ayu no wa ko mi to ni maya e mo ni do ye we re na kin o ka mi edwin omo o give a wogi in canada ami eli no tubu usa o pe oba kran we wogi in canada obo o sa ze wogi in usa o pe oba o sa ro kin state wogi in usa ami me be o en zo wa usa I'm Augustine Dow, USA. We're about Sagi David Wogin, USA. I'm a Linda Ohamu, Canada. We're about Nicholas Wogin, USA. I'm a Desuwa Tote, USA. We're about Desuwa Wogin, USA. We're about Sayawe Wogin, USA. I'm a Queen Dow, USA. I'm a Saboyan Kola Wale Bini. We're about Kenneth Kenua Wogin, Bini. I'm a Vivian Webber Bini. We're about my Wogin, Bini. We're about McDonald's Wogin, USA. I work on Vivian Wogin, Bini. A Jacob in Nobu. Not your boy, be not your Yemena. Oh, eh, a boss as a walking. Thank you for staying with us on the Sunday Ken Magazine. Leaders of the People's Democratic Party in the local government area at those states today led their members to offer thanks to God for the peaceful conduct of the 2020 Edo State Governorship election and for the resounding victory recorded by the party both in the local government area and the state. Ikmaosa Ugyagbe reports that the Thanksgiving was held at St. Patrick's Catholic Church, Ugbo, Benin City.
leader of PDP in the Goloko government area, Barista Nusa Adams, chairman of the party in the area, Chief Ekundayo Idehe, Edo State Commissioner for Information and Communication, Stewart Efe, chairman of a Goloko government, Ege Ogbemudia, and other members of the PDP danced to the author to offer thanks to God for the victory of the party and its candidate, Governor Godwin Obaseki, in the September 19 governorship election. Officiating Minister, Very Reverend Father Augustine Ehige, commended them for their decision to offer thanks to God. This is my first time expressing it. When people are afraid, they want to come and talk to the church. Rather, they are more than one member of the For you to say that talk to the church, in fact, I am very surprised. We must be grateful. We must thank God. In an interview, some leaders of the party said before the commencement of the campaign for the election, they committed the process to God through prayers, hence their decision to thank God for the victory in the state governorship election. We promised we are going to deliver and we defeat APC with between 15,000 and 20,000 votes. And we defeated them with more than 17,000 votes. And we promised ourselves that if God in his infinite mercy and wisdom, guide us and lead us to this victory. We will come and show appreciation by way of thanksgiving. God has answered our prayer. It was not our doing, it is the Lord's doing. It is very clear that whatever you put or you dedicate in the house of God must always come with happiness. It was a fight between certain group of persons who believe they are going to continue they will continue to line their pockets and against the people but the people resolved that no we must take our destiny our arms and that was what played out today we are celebrating because god stood by us we are all aware of the heat the tension that the election was generating today we are victorious after such victory do we not walk away like the night leopard? No. We have to come back like the single leopard to say thank you to God. The event later shifted to the reception venue where members were lavishly entertained. Ikmomosa Ugeagwe reporting. A new sachet water and bottled water factory known as MA Water is opened for business in Benin City. Pius Nsogo, who was at the inauguration, said reports that MA Water Factory is an arm of Mama Africa Enterprises. That was Pastor Chinyere Mwachuku cutting the tape to inaugurate MA Water Factory located at Iboligun Community of Upper San Savior Road, Benin City. In a remark, Pastor Mwachuku, who represented the chairman on the occasion, Tender Ada Ikechuku, said water is life and that MA Water has been opened to give life to the community and to the wider society. She noted that the factory will ensure quality product that will compete favorably with the best in the market. MA Waters will be beneficiary to various industries in various pockets. It will come in handy when cooling, manufacturing and transporting several goods. Dignitaries and guests were taken on a guided tour around the facilities while prayers were offered for the growth of the business. High point of the ceremony was cutting of the inauguration cake. The managing director of MA Water, Pastor Godfrey Elias, who represented the management board of MA Water and some dignitaries, took turns to present goodwill messages. They commended the chairman and founder of Mama Africa Enterprises, Senior Pastor Odum Ikechuku, and his wife, Deaconess Abies Ifeoma Ikechuku, for establishing MA Water factory in the area. This premises was a push turned into building, a dream turned into reality and a caterpillar turned into butterfly. We give God the glory because they deem fit to contribute to the economy of our nation. I'm happy for this investment. And uh, when they, they told me about the vision, I had to come from Lagos to come for this purpose. I give God the glory for what he has done. Today, we never expected that the day would be as bright as this. 
rented apartments and stores were also inaugurated. Great Women Theatre Troupe performed to entertain guests. The founder, Mama Africa Enterprises, Senior Pastor Odum Ikechuku and his wife, Abies Ifama Ikechuku, who were represented at the ceremony, are based in the U.S. Pius Msogo reports. The spiritual leader of Christ Chosen Church of God International, Senior Apostle David Nwerfe Ihiwu, has reminded Nigerians that only God can solve the problems facing the country. Senior Apostle Nwerfe Ihiwu stated this during a special Thanksgiving service to mark Nigeria's 60th independence celebration at the Cathedral Branch of the Church in Benin City. Kingsley Uchegu has details. The spiritual leader said the nation's 60th anniversary calls for a sober reflection and attitude change among citizens. He urged politicians to be role models and exhibit characters and conducts that will glorify God. Senior Apostle Nuefe said the show of shame exhibited by members of the national and state assemblies portrayed the country in a bad light and called on politicians at various levels to do things that will reposition the country. Honorable. I don't know how honorable you are. Where you as an honorable, you are fighting in the house. You call yourself honorable. You are fighting. You carry the maze. Sometimes you carry red, red, the flute people. In the house, I you say you are honorable. My friend, you are not honorable. You have dishonored yourself. Honorable men don't fight in the public. Do they fight? The service featured much past, starting of the anniversary cake, administrations by the Obeson One and two choirs. Kingsley Uchebu reporting. Well, due for another break on the Sunday edition of the Weekend Magazine. Please stay tuned for more stories. Welcome back, a wolf. Don't be a Oh, yes. Chikele travel a wolf to different places for Nigeria. Muyi line, you know they disappoint. Muyi line cheap a wolf price where they make Bele City don't come for you. From Benito Lagos, my two, Iyanopaja, Yaba, Aja, and other places, including unbeatable a wolf price. From Benito Potter to Wari, Bayesa, and other Niger Delta routes, plus Ekoma, Auchi, Abuja, and other places for Nigeria. Come enjoy comfortable executive Muyi line charter bus and car service to international airport and other destinations for this special a wolf price. Yes, now we your party party for all seasons and journey. Travel price must not disturb your journey. Oh, enjoy this cheap a wolf travel price for Muyi Line 169 Uselu Lagos Road, opposite Technical Junction, Benin City. Muyi Line, Grand Master Grand of Niger Delta Roads. Oh yes, the lights must shine on, business must go on, the engine must roll, we must enjoy comfort. Uyi Technica, Uyi Technica, the generator headquarters says something there for everybody. Generator there for everybody, just as your pocket reach. Yes, so oh, cheap affordable price for generators, we understand as everywhere day. So no matter the size of generator you want, whether not the small portable generator size to give you comfort for your house or to help your small business, I've been at the one for office, church, events or the big one like long don't pay zero and others all day for affordable price even for higher no wait to hear oh. come see for yourself make you testify high quality petrol and diesel generators of different sites and brand eh. machines to grind pepper corn and crack pump can eh. plus all that in see all day for oh, yeah. this now your opportunity to get your own no come the generator headquarters oh yeah, technical limited 79 81 83 mission road Benin city oh yeah, technical affordable, affordable generators, generators for, for everybody, everybody. Do you need a place to eat good food as if you are at home? Then, Home and Away Restaurant is the place. At Home and Away Restaurant, we have all kinds of delicious food, either African or continental. Our meals are always hot and fresh. Hmm, not only that, it's also very affordable. In fact, it's pay as you can. Our staff are professional and friendly. Our environment, very hygienic, serene and secure with spacious car park. We do both home and office delivery. We are open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday to Sunday. Home and away restaurant. We are located at number 1 Ikpokman Road off Sapla Road, GRA, Benin City. For more information, please call 708 849 1281 or 0901 603 
0242-242522. Home and away restaurant, total satisfaction and more. You do well for our body as you don't make it travel from Benito Lagos very cheaply. Student price. As you sabi how everything come a binia. Oh, how I go take it, thank you. For small money prices to travel from Benito Lagos, sell my tool, Volkswagen bus stop. Another bus go carry you to Ikeja, Abulek, by Yanopaja. Now, so another bus go carry you, go for Aja Leki, while another bus go drop you for Ojo Tap and Groove Yaba for Benin. Oh, how I get early money bus service. We go carry you for four o'clock in early morning fuel. Drop you for Lagos for seven o'clock in Bamo. That's not why we they call them. Good morning, Lagos. Oh, Humber Line, you get hotel for your relaxation and event that all location. Oh, Humber Line head office, you get two, two, two. Who go to Lagos Road for Benin City? Oh, Humber Line, the tiger of the road. We've come to the end of the Sunday edition of the ITV Weekend News. Thank you for watching. I am Blessing AJ. Join me at 11. Independent television news. Truly independent. There's a new sweep being introduced to the school that's making the children sick. We believe Gonza is behind it. I will find Gonza and put an end to this once and for all. I have been working non-stop on tracking his location. We're very close now. It appears Gonza has found a way to make the children do his bidding. You must be very careful with this task. All right, PC. I won't let you down. Are you ready to tell us how this thing came to be in your school bag? I don't know, Ma. You don't know or you don't want to tell us. Ma, I don't know what it is. So why would I have it in my bag? Are you asking me? I just want you to understand the whole thing, Ma. You still have the guts to talk. If you don't tell me how this thing came to be in your school bag right now, I have no other option but to expel you. <laughs> When you wake up in the morning before you start your day, breakfast time is chaos time. For work and for play, for a great start to your day, breakfast time is chaos time. We always start our day with a nourishing Kellogg's breakfast, powered with the goodness of grains and 11 essential vitamins and minerals. So in our family, breakfast time is Kellogg's time. Breakfast time is Kellogg's time. Not so fast. Look, I'm tired. I want to check out of this country for greener pastures. Just calm down for a moment. Please sit down. <sighs> Do you have a job where you're going to? Uh, no, but someone is arranging, you know. Listen, uh, listen, listen, Alinko. Checking out of this country without proper planning means one thing. Unimaginable begin. Eh? You know, I've been in the diaspora, but legitimately doing great things at home and abroad. As I've been saying, without the proper footing abroad, the risk is not worth it. Listen, Alinko, it's better to be home than be trapped abroad, or even end up in prison. Hey, 
attack my top. I'm not fighting it so funny. <laughs> see you, pay too. Call and make I see you. Shoot. Efe, Efe, I'm warning you. I'm warning you now. Give it to me or else. Forget that thing. Good down. Ma? Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, Sam. How are you? Please, get the gate. Come and take me to the Chinese school. Now, now, now. Please. Okay.